This week's Asmodee Tips video takes us back to the world of digital board game ports. This time, it's the prestige acquiring, nobleman purchasing, gem hoarding card game, Splendor. Here's five tips to ensure you're the poshest player at the touchscreen table. 24 Little Turns Splendor is a game about getting points quickly. You need to gain 15 victory points from the cards you purchase before your opponents do. The longer you take to get these points, the more likely you are to lose to faster, more efficient players. Experienced players suggest that 24 is the ideal number of actions to ensure victory. So, you'll want to plan a strategy to hit 15 points within 24 turns. To do this, examine techniques to maximize the value of each action you make. Speaking of which, avoid the bottom row. There are three rows of cards, bottom, middle, and top. The bottom row cards are the cheapest to obtain, often requiring only a few gems to purchase. The top row are expensive in terms of gem chips. They can demand up to six or seven of a particular colored gem, but will offer higher value points. However, it's the middle row where you should focus your attention. These cards, while still not the cheapest, are easier to purchase in fewer actions, and almost always offer points as well as gem bonuses. If you look at the bottom row, these cards often only offer gem bonuses and no victory points, meaning they're getting you no closer to your eventual goal. Buy cards from the middle row, and every purchase action you make is bringing you closer to the 15 points you need to win. Don't rely on the nobility. Collect enough gem boosts throughout the game, and you may be visited by a noble. You can see them there on the right hand side of the screen. When you've acquired the specified gem boosts on a noble's card, you will gain the points of that noble. Given these nobleman cards offer a lot of points in one go, it's tempting to focus on grabbing the bottom row low cost cards to gather the requisite gem boosts. However, as we've mentioned, these bottom row cards don't earn you any points, leaving you spending a lot of actions without any tangible gains. Don't rely on a late game visit from royalty to save you. By turn 24, it's probably too late. Rather than putting all your eggs in the nobleman basket, earn them organically while still grabbing yourself victory points in the process. Some cards are stronger than others. Before you buy a card, look at the amount of gems it costs versus the victory points it'll give you. Even just looking at a single row, some cards are more valuable than others. There are cards in the middle row that give you three points for six gems. Compare this to cards in the top row, which will ask you for 10 to 14 gems for only three or four points, and you can see that this is a bargain. Buying these low gem, high point cards will give you the maximum bang for your buck and help net the points you need before your opponents beat you to it. And finally, block other players. Just like in 8 Minute Empire, each player in Splendor is purchasing cards from the same three rows. This means it's possible to look at what gems your opponents have, work out the cards they might want to buy, and then hoard the gems they need for yourself. Unless you choose to reserve or purchase a card, you need to take three gem chips with every turn. If you only need two gems to buy the card you want, why not pick up a third colored gem that your enemy desperately needs and then deprive them of the extra points? Sometimes the best offense really is a good defense. Mm -hmm.